What up, nerds? I saw you guys liked my last video. Well, guess what? I got another one for you. But I read your comments. You want free, you want good, and you want it now. Well, you came to the right place. Because I can do that for you. You read the title of this video. Today we are going to be using AI to double the frame rate of our footage. That's kind of crazy. Or last video of me would say, that's insane. Okay, let me explain. There's this great big world called open source. It's a good time. Essentially, really smart people make programs for you to download and you can use. This is great if you were one of those people in my last video that were like, I don't wanna pay for anything, make it free. Open source software. It's the thing for you. So after my last video, I did a deep dive into different AI stuff. And I came across this model called RIFE. What does RIFE stand for? Real-time intermediate flow estimation for video frame interpolation. Like I said in my last video, frame interpolation would be taking one frame and another frame and using machine learning to fill in the gaps in between. Let's take a look at an example. Here is a wonderful clip of me dancing. Look at those moves. On the left side, we have a 30 frames per second video. And on the right side, we have a 60 frame per second video that we generated using Rife. Now, if we slow both these videos down to 50% speed, we can really see the difference. On the left side, as you would expect, it is choppy. We're playing back at 15 frames per second. But on the right side, we are looking at a nice, smooth 30 frames per second slow motion video. Now, I will say right now, Rife is not perfect. No machine learning tools are perfect. If there is fast motion in your video, it can start to fall apart. But your typical motion will look really good. I did even encounter a couple weird frames. I'm not really sure what's going on there. But that being said, I think that this is still extremely impressive and can be used as a very useful tool as a filmmaker. For example, let's say you're shooting a wedding and you're going back and forth between video and photo mode. I think a lot of people might do that. Let's say you accidentally started recording in photo mode, you're gonna get a 30 frame per second video. And let's say that shot was really important and you really needed it in 60 frames per second. Assuming that there isn't any crazy motion in that video, you could very easily turn that 30 frames into 60 and usably use it in your edit. Here's another example. Maybe you are a stop motion animator. I think most stop motion is in 15 frames per second. What if you converted that 15 frames per second into 30 frames per second? Actually, why don't we give this a try? I'm gonna download some of my friend's stop motion videos and we'll see what we can do with them. So I guess here are the results. All right, you've seen some examples. Now it's time for me to show you how to actually do this. Some requirements, you're going to need a pretty decent GPU. I'm doing this on a 2070 Super. Actually, I'm using my GTX uh, 7020, 20, 2070 Super. Uh, it has eight gigabytes of VRAM. That's good. That's really the only like hardware requirement you're gonna need. Uh, if you don't have a 2070 Super, it's one either going to take a bit longer probably, or you might only be able to do it in a lower resolution. Actually, that being said, it wasn't until today that you could do this with 1080p footage. Previously, it was only 720p, but I guess that being said, this is still a developing technology. Just expect it to get better, I guess. Thankfully, some lovely people or person decided to put this uh, AI machine learning model into a user interface face so that way you don't have to use like command prompt and then it's confusing and then only really smart people can use it you and i the dumb people can also use it as well thanks to uh noomcrad his name that's the author so if you go to that link you can choose the price that you want to pay for this maybe maybe you'll want to pay five dollars maybe you want to pay ten dollars maybe you want to pay zero dollars maybe you want to try it out for free and then maybe come back and leave a donation later well yeah you can do that. Once you download the EXE, there is a installer window. It's going to help you install all the dependencies for the software. In my case, because I don't know what the heck I'm doing, I just installed everything. It seemed to work. Then you're gonna get to this window where you can select your video input. If the software doesn't like your video file, you can go over to this tab and convert your video to MP4. Even if your video already is MP4, this will just make sure that it works. Now we just wanna make sure that we select the converted video file, and then we're gonna choose how many times we want to double the frame rate. For the best results, I would assume that two times is probably your best bet. I'm not audacious 
audacious enough to go beyond that. Unless there's like very minimal motion in your video, I think two times is going to be your best bet. So you're gonna hit that big button and uh, you're good to go. I gave the software like a 45 second clip and it took a little bit over five minutes to render. So it's not like the quickest process in the world, but also it's not really that long for what it is. If you're just doing it for like one shot or like a short video, it's really not too bad. All right, there you go. It was quick, it's good, and it's free. You're welcome. You can thank me later. Cool. Thanks for watching. Um, great. Well, um, you know, I had a really good fun time tonight. I think uh, maybe we should do this again sometime. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now. So uh, have yourself, have yourself a wonderful day. Bye. Can you please subscribe? Please subscribe.